Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna to be talking about the new Rocket, I guess Rocket Collection from Charlotte Tilbury. This is part of her limited edition collection for holiday 2023. It is in collaboration with Elton John and I believe um, a portion of sales um, will be going to his foundation. But um, this is the bag. I also got both of the limited edition lipsticks. I'll be trying them both on and uh, we'll talk about it. Okay, so reading from the Charlotte Tilbury website, it states that um, she's honored and privileged to support the Rocket Fund powered by the Elton John AIDS Foundation. Elton is a legend, one of life's visionaries, and I truly believe that together we can inspire and empower everyone everywhere to live a life filled with confidence and end the stigma around HIV and AIDS. Discover the Rocket Collection, including new lipstick shades and a star-studded makeup bag, and join Elton and I as we step into beauty magic this holiday season. So one of the things I heard, um, I don't know if this is true, I tried to look it up, I couldn't find it, but that Elton John is actually the godfather to both of Charlotte Tilbury's sons. Um, so I don't know if that's true. Uh, so if that's true or you know anything, put it in the comments below. I thought that was interesting. Um, you know, I love Elton John, I love Charlotte Tilbury, so it's uh, it makes sense. But I honestly, I didn't really understand the collaboration, but obviously there's a friendship there. And I do like that, you know, a portion of the sales are going to his foundation. Um, so we have the lipsticks. So we have the two lipsticks here. There are two shades. There is um, Rocket Girl and um, Ready for Lust. And and um, Ready for Lust is definitely a unique shade. I swatched pretty much every Charlotte Tilbury like darker shade that I had and don't have anything even closely similar. I think maybe the closest shade is Walk of No Shame and it's not even that close. And even in honestly in my collection, because it's kind of like a berry red, it's not something that I have. Um, Rocket Girl, yeah, we'll talk about that one, but let's talk about the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. So the packaging is this limited edition packaging. I love it. And, um, you know, it's really gorgeous. And here is, this is ready for lust. So you can see, I love it. It's gorgeous. Now it is a little bit more expensive than her normal lipsticks. These are going to cost you 38 us dollars, um, on the website. So, um, but again, I, I think they're gorgeous. I'm gonna try on both the shades, but I do love that um, that is available. And then the bag. So the bag is gorgeous. So here is, obviously you have the bag, you have this little thing. Now one thing I'm kind of, I, I'm not a makeup bag person, however, I have purchased a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury makeup bags. I purchased the Platinum Ju Jubilee one for the Queen's Pat Platinum Jubilee. Um, I purchased the Pillow Talk one, which I thought was gorgeous. And then obviously I purchased the one for Disney 100. Um, this one is just, I think, pretty. And I, one of the things I like about it and how I justified the cost was that it could honestly be used like as a evening bag because it's kind of like a makeup bag, but it's not really because it's got this like magnetic closure. You can see here, you've got the zipper. I love the red satin interior. I think that's gorgeous. So I kind of feel like it is a evening bag as well. Now this is gonna cost you $64. So this is a lot more expensive than her previous makeup bags. However, you've got the start. I think it's really pretty. Um, I've heard some people say that it, they think it's juvenile. I don't think so, but I can see where someone would say that. I think it's really pretty. I think if you're wearing like, you know, a black dress or something very simple, and you have this kind of adds a little sparkle. That's kind of how I would wear it, but I think it's really pretty. So I will use this as an evening bag, not as a makeup bag, um, especially at $64. I don't have a lot of evening bags. I don't, I'm not really a purse person. So, um, but that's how I justified this cost for, for this. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the lipstick. So I already mentioned Ready for Lust. I'm gonna try that one after because that one is a darker shade. So I'm gonna end with that one. But let's talk about Rocket Girl. So Rocket Girl, so these are called the new Rocket Lips. One is in the Matte Revolution shade, which is the Rocket Girl. And then the Ready for Lust shade is in the Kissing formula. So there's two different formulas. So this is Rocket Girl. And um, again, same packaging. So it's the same packaging as the other. And um, what does that look like to you? I don't know. Doesn't it look like 
something else. So here are some swatches that I did of the Pillow Talk, which is on the left, and this shade, which is Rocket Girl, on the right. And are they the same shade? No, they are not the same exact shade. Are they extremely close? Yes. <laughs> um, I think once they're on the lips, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. I think they're, I mean, I, I probably, what I'd say is that they change the formula slightly to give you almost the same shade. I would say this one is a little deeper than Pillow Talk, but are you gonna notice on your lips? No. I don't mind that because one, um, I've had Pillow Talk for a while and I have quite a few minis, so I haven't purchased a new one. And you can kind of see, I've used Pillow Talk quite a bit, right? And I've used this one. It's kind of, um, you can see how much I've used my Pillow Talk. And I also like, because most of the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Irene Matte Revolution, even the kissing formulas, most of them are in this packaging. So I like the fact that there's only gonna be two in this packaging. So when I'm looking for, you know, Pillow Talk or Rocket Girl. I know that it's in this packaging. I don't have to constantly look at the bottom. And honestly, I can't even see this. I have to get a magnifying glass to look at the bottom. So I kind of like that because I've had this and I have a couple, I have like three or four minis that I use and I haven't purchased a new one. So um, I don't mind that. I don't regret purchasing this. However, if you have a newer Pillow Talk, then I would say skip this one because it's pretty much the same shade. So um, let me go ahead and put this on and uh, you know, so you can see how it looks. Okay, so I did line my lips with um, Iconic Nude, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna go in with Pillow Talk. So I'm gonna go in with the Pillow Talk and then I will go back in with, and I'll do a side-by-side, -side, um, kind of a screenshot so you can see. So, but this is Pillow Talk. Now I wear Pillow Talk all the time. I love it. It is it is one of the most flattering shades. I think a lot of people, I've heard people, some people it's not flattering on, but for me it is. It's, you know, it's neutral. I can wear it with warm tones, you know, cool tones, everything. But this is Pillow Talk. And now we'll compare it to Rocket Girl. Okay, so I wiped it off. Now we're gonna go in with Rocket Girl. Okay, and here is Rocket Girl. So, um, from what I can tell, without doing a you know side by side, but I feel like this one is a tinge darker, like not even noticeable, but just a tinge darker. But I uh, will do. Um, so I'm going to take a picture and I will do a side by side comparison right here. And you let me know in the comments below, is it the same shade? Does it look the same or does it look different to you? But anyway, um, I do think it's gorgeous. Um, it is, I love the Matte Revolution formula. It's probably my favorite matte formula, even on the kissing formula I love, but I like matte lipsticks. It's very comfortable, it's not drying. So I do like the Matte Revolution formula. However, because it is so close to Pillow Talk, I kind of wish they had made this in the kissing formula. Um, maybe have made the Ready for Lust in the Matte Revolution formula and made this one in the kissing formula. So then you'd have almost the same shade, but in a different formula. And then it wouldn't be necessarily the same lipstick. Now, would I have used it as much if, you know, if it was the kissing formula? Probably not because I much prefer the, the Matte Revolution. However, I just feel like that would have made more sense. But to be honest, I think this will sell out. Um, I think this is gonna be high demand. I think of anything, this is probably gonna be the thing that sells out the most because it's a gorgeous lipstick. It's very popular. It's a gorgeous nude, pinky nude. You know, Pillow Talk is popular for a reason. You got the gorgeous packaging. So I don't mind it. I'm not upset that I purchased it. Do I recommend it? Yes. However, if you have a newer Pillow Talk lipstick, then you don't need this. It is, it is for the most part the same, you know, almost the same lipstick shade. However, if you're like me and yours is like two or th probably three years old and it's, you know, you've used a lot of it, then getting this and then, you know, when I grab it, I will know which one I'm grabbing, you know, unless it's this one, but I have a better chance. I have like probably 
10 or 15 lipsticks in this like similar container while I only have two in this, you know, rock lips container. Okay, so I did forget to mention that the Rocket Girl is described as a nudie pink, which I think is pretty much the description of Pillow Talk. Um, so now we're going to talk about Ready for Lust. Like I said, Ready for Lust is a more unique shade. And one of the things that I do like about this shade is that it's got like glitter particles and they're very subtle. Um, you really can't see them. Um, I'm going to see if you can see them here. I don't know if you can, but in person, you can they're they're very subtle so it gives you like this kind of iridescent sheen to the lips really really pretty so here is the swatch of ready for lust and since we're here we'll go ahead and swatch um that is rocket girl and again we'll go ahead and swatch pillow talk so um again i think i think pillow talk looks a little darker here but it's probably because I just went a little harder. So, but they're they're very, very close. But let's get into Ready for Lust. So Ready for Lust is, as I mentioned already, is in the kissing formula. So that is the more satin formula and it is called a deep berry red. Um, and then of course it's encased the, in the magical star print tube. So let's go ahead and put it on and see how it looks. Okay, so here is Ready for Lust. And again, I have talked about this. I am not a red lipstick girl. However, this is a red I can wear. Um, probably not um, every day. Uh, I'm not going to wear this to the office, even though I work from home. Um, but it's really pretty. Now, it does have that like little glitter particles. I don't know if you can see it here but um, it is kind of got like a blue tinge to it. So it's got like a blue, um, you know, undertone to it. So, but I really do like it. It's a really pretty, to me, it's a very, like the orangey reds, I don't like how they look on me. So this one I do really like. It's a little more vampy than I would probably go for, but I do really like it. I think it's really pretty. Um, and I don't have anything like this in my collection. So I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's great for like New Year's, holidays, absolutely. Um, and I think this kind, this one I think probably represents, you know, more Elton John, even though, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like this one represents more Elton John than, than the, uh, the other one. Okay, so what do I think about these? Again, so I kind of already mentioned about Rocket Girl. If you have a newer Pillow Talk, you know, in the last six months to the year, and you know, you have a full tube, then don't don't get rock, Rocket Girl, unless you just really want the packaging. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty much the same shade or just close enough where no one's really gonna notice. Um, this shade, get it if you like it. Um, I, you know, I probably would have gotten it anyway. Well, I wear this a lot, no. But this is a red I could definitely wear. It's a comfortable formula. Again, this is the kissing formula, so it's not the matte, so it's not like it's gonna transfer, right? But um, it's a really pretty shade. I think it's really great for like New Year's, going out. Not that I go out, but you know, whatever. Um, these are $38. You can save like 5% if you like, there's a couple bundles on there. Um, and then obviously I do have a promo code, which is Shannon F. FA012 will save you 15% off your first order on Shalar Tilbury. Now the bag, I think to me, if there's anything you're gonna purchase, purchase the bag. I think the bag is great. I think it's fun. I think it could be a purse. Um, you know, you've got the CT here. It's got a nice magnetic closure. You've got a zipper. I love the red inside. I think it's just beautiful. So I think if you were gonna get one thing and you wanted something from the collection, I think this is fun. However, if I was gonna recommend one of the lipsticks, I would probably recommend the Ready for Lust if you will wear it, if you will wear red, um, because I think it's the most unique. Like I said, it's got these like glitter particles in it, but not in a juvenile way, in a very subtle, you have to look really close kind of way. Um, now, if you will never wear the red, but you want to get something in this packaging, then get the Rocket Girl. Um, it is a gorgeous shade. It's, you know, it's a universally flattering shade. You're gonna wear it, you know, if you wear Pillow Talk a lot, then you're gonna wear this one. Um, you know, it's just, you know, just know that it's pretty much the same shade. So, but other than that, um, you know, she does have a lot of great 
um, kits on right now. She's got a little mini kits with like the Pill Talk blush, the, the Pink Asm blush, the Spotlight, like the minis, which I think are fantastic. A lot of great sets on her website. They are also on Sephora as well. So they're now on Sephora as well. Um, so, you know, the sales coming up at the end of the month and beginning of November. So you can pick those up at the, the sales as well. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.